one of the very first steps in building the Lance Air 360 is to create wing saddles on the slow build kit. Now these are already constructed on the fast build kit, but these basically are for aligning the main spar and creating an indexing location for the main spar to sit. But on a slow build kit, you have to construct these and build them. On this used kit that I bought, luckily I had one of them. There's a piece of it missing, but the majority of it was there. So it gave me a rough idea on how to do this. But after some thinking, I came up with a better way than the suggestion that I got, which was to use a piece of sandpaper mounted into the, this is what the forum said to do, put a piece of sandpaper in and then start uh, sh sanding the foam block until you get it to the rough shape. So I stumbled upon an idea. So I went to the store and picked up a, a contour profile gauge for less than 10 bucks from Home Depot. It's in the uh, tile aisle. And this device makes copying the profiles extremely easy. It locks in place and you can literally just find your location to copy the profile uh, for the piece and push this onto it and then lock it in place. And now I have an exact replica in that cross section. So when you're making your foam blocks, you can actually go through this in multiple steps uh, where you can lay a block so you know your first indexing spot and I marked it on the fuselage. And then you uh, take the profilometer and you can do the same thing, contour, and do it on the back side of the first block, which will also be, so when you do it to the back side of your first block like this, so you're exactly an inch apart, oops, then you have the front side of your second block. And then you can lay your second block and you copy it back. And so you end up with a nice, uh, contour that'll fit the fuselage perfectly and you don't have to use as much epoxy or micro to fill the void. So anyway, I just found that to be a much simpler uh, method for doing this than trying to whittle these around until I get them to the right shape. So then once I have the profilometer or profile, contour profile, I can put it onto the part and after you figure out what the angle it needs to go on and everything, but then you just trace it with a pen or a pencil onto the foam. And then I've been using a little saw to uh, cut the foam along that line. And it gets really close if you take your time when you're doing it. And I set this up so instead of pushing away from me uh, for the cut, I'm pulling towards myself. And I found that was easier uh, to control. And anyway, just a helpful hint. So that's my first step in the construction process. So I'm going to cut away to uh, put the foam blocks together. And I've got the Rhino epoxy out. And we're going to get the micro out here in a second. And we'll get started on this. So there's the first blocks. 
I haven't uh, started sanding this yet, but I have actually roughly fitted it. And you can see how close the uh, fitment actually is whenever this thing is held down. Now I've still got some tweaking to do um, because you can see they're not quite perfect, but it helped me get pretty close doing it the method that I uh, did for this. So still got some work to do to refine it, but we'll be ready to mount this pretty soon. The very first thing I had to do was to raise the sawhorses, the ratcheting sawhorses in the front uh, four notches up in order to get this. I'm almost level now on this stringer or runner on the side of the fuselage and the instructions in the blueprints ask you to get that level. So I've done that. It took four ratchets on these rigid um, lumberjack ratcheting or, or uh, adjusting sawhorses. Once I did that, then I just positioned the new block, which I have not sanded flush and leveled or anything. I have marked the location for it in the fuselage with how far back it should go. And now I've inserted the main spar to the center line roughly and uh, put both of the blocks in place. This is the only one I had. Uh, that came with it. But essentially the main spar is now resting in its permanent location. And you'll see in the blueprints that we'll make lots of adjustments and uh, we'll end up with foam underneath these. So lots to do, but that's the progress this evening. Time to go home.